what conditions our journey? Is it our choices? Is it the influence of our meetings? Is it a coincidence? Or is it destiny? What are the obstacles that get in our way and shape us? Can the place where we come from can draw our future? What makes us meet each other? What's the attraction that comes into play then? Often, it is a common desire. An identical understanding without the need to speak on a given topic. A passion. A similar search that leads to be friends. A need for escape. A quest for freedom. Would I have been braver if I had not made those meetings? Would I have more audacity if I didn't have my back against the wall? If I had listened more at school, would my past be the same? What drives a child without daring, paralyzed by fear, to brave obstacles, risk and sanctions, not to back down again? Maybe it's a sensation of a dead end, with no future, probably a desire for freedom to find your own way. The desire to become better, to progress. That was what it meant for me to, as we say in French, faire le mur. Some will view leaping walls as a threat, something illegal. But for others, it's a form of learning, a way of seeing things differently, another approach to reclaim the environment. Some barriers are justified, but others are not. When some are conditioned to turn their heels consistently in front of a wall and see an end of the path, others will cultivate the idea of changing their perception and rewrite the rules. But did we really create that? we learn that by playing together? Or is there something else? Let's take from the beginning. The idea of the war. In the 80s in France, not far from Paris, I arrived in a town called Lys, next to Cocoon and Evry. And they are bordered by an aqueduct called La Vanne, a 156 kilometers wall that runs along several cities. That wall, which we were walking along it, crossed a wood. Inside this wood, which was shaped in a circular path, there was an obstacle course, where we would regularly meet and train. But maybe this is just a coincidence. At the junction between Lys and Kukuhol, there is a lake, and in the center of this lake stand a 50 meters sculpture, the Lady of the Lake. You think of a woman, huh? Well, that sculpture looks more like a wall than a woman. This climbing wall was our playground. This place where I've seen us grow was created in 1975 by a sculptor named Pierre Zekeli. This idea comes from the collaboration between a sculptor and a maintainer named Guido Magnon. The idea was, and I quote, to encourage children. As their natural born climber, they will be the priority. Every was the city where we spent a large part of our childhood playing tag, in a place called Allée Jean Rostand. In the 1970s, Every was the real urban planning laboratory, where the biggest name in international architecture will meet. Are we the one? shaping the city or is it the city that shapes us so i grew up in a city with a big wall along at the center there is a lake where sit a sculpture shaped as a climbing wall in the neighboring wood an obstacle course the city next to ours an architectural laboratory with a place like a real made concrete labyrinth so what do you think where does this obsession of climbing walls come from how does this shape our character? Is it the result of our will? Our meetings? Is it a coincidence? Or was it our destiny? 
just one more thing. The name of Lys appear in 752. It is Francic origin. Would it make any difference if I told you that he means fence? So, what do you think?